Today is kind of a little bit of a different type of video, but I received these free cigar boxes from my local cigar shop. The owners were so lovely and so kind. They, um, they offered these to me free of charge and they actually said, come back anytime. So that was just really, really made my day. And I've actually been wanting to pick up some cigar boxes for a while now just because I really like the way that they look and I've been wanting some wooden boxes to store some of my supplies in and also kind of upcycling these and reusing them for different purposes keeps them out of the landfills and helps I guess consume and waste less so that's also something that's pretty important to me. Um, I picked out a couple of these, so I just think these are so, so stunning. This is finished wood. It feels amazing. Um, this one is a smaller one. It has this little snap clasp, which is gorgeous and also just so satisfying to snap. Um... And the inside is really stunning too. This is a black velvet background and this is kind of like a sticker. Um, and I think I'm actually going to keep that decoration. I'm not going to cover this up at all just because I already love the way that it looks. It's the same thing with this one. I really, really enjoy the look of this box. I love the edges and also I really enjoy their logo too. I think it looks beautiful. The same thing with this one. It has a beautiful snap clasp and the inside also has the same sort of decoration as the outside which I think is stunning and I will be keeping. The only thing I'm going to do to kind of upcycle this or um, remodel this in a sort is just to remove the stickers. Um, the same thing for this one. There's just one tiny little sticker over here that I will be removing. Um, I honestly kind of like how this stamp-esque sticker looks, so honestly I might just leave that as well because I kind of like it. But I will be removing all of these stickers, these <laughs> warning stickers, um, this sticker. As you can see, they kind of cut into the label and the box a little bit over here, but that's, I'm just going to remove the sticker and deal with what I can with that. I'll just try to fix that. Then there's this box. I kind of picked them out based on their sizing. Um, this one is a little bit of a flatter, longer box. Both of those are. And this one is more of a wider, or not wider, thicker, longer in height box. Um, and I liked how this looked too. This also has a snap clasp, which I enjoy. And there's also their logo sticker right here as well. I really enjoy the look of this box as well. I like the basic black. Um, and with this as well, I honestly kind of like their sticker, but I think I'm going to remove it on most places. I definitely want to remove it back here because it kind of gets in the way of the hinge, which I don't really like. So I'm probably just going to remove all of this sticker and maybe just leave the bottom. Um, now as you can see, I already tried to remove a sticker here and I'm just going to remove those stickers as well. I really, really like how these look. So I'm not going to really do much work on them other than what I've already said, just removing the stickers and stuff like that um and then i'll show you what else i'm gonna do in a second but 
if you have any local cigar shops depending on what area you are i think these can be collectible so some places might charge you a little bit for them but it doesn't hurt to check your local cigar shops if you are interested in stuff like this you could always just call ahead too if you don't want to just drive around and try to find some that's actually what i did with these i just called and asked if they had any and um the owner was so sweet and she said that they're free and come in you know and when i went there today she was again so nice and she urged me to come back at any time to pick them up because i think some cigar shops they just have too many that they don't really have anything to do with um because people normally just buy a single cigar at a time so they have a lot of boxes left over because i guess people don't really want them or buy them so i'm going to remove some of the stickers and then i'll be back and i'll show you what i'm gonna do next so i removed the stickers off of all of these boxes um and i do want to say this was so perfect for me because i've been actually wanting to buy a wooden box i've actually wanted to buy a wooden box for a long time just to store some of my um supplies mostly my writing supplies and so this was just really really an amazing opportunity one i love the way that they look um two it was very cost effective for me and three it's environmentally conscious as well so i would definitely recommend trying to do this if you are looking for um something like this these are all wooden boxes as you can tell so they're all very great quality boxes um i thought that was kind of interesting so i think i'm just gonna leave that in there but I just wanted to note that as well. So this is, I'm just really, really happy with this. And I love how these look now that I've removed the stickers. Um, so for this one, I'm not going to do anything else with this. Just because um, I just want to store some stuff in it. And I'm not worried about those things getting scratched or anything like that. So that's all I'm going to do for this one but for this one I'm planning on storing some things that I'm afraid of getting scratched up and I want to keep them in good um, condition so I am going to add some fabric I believe so I don't want to glue in I don't want to glue in dividers or anything like that because I want to be able to switch up the use of these. I missed some on the inside. Right now I have in mind something exactly what I want to use it for, but I do want to be able to use it for something else if I decide I want to use it for something else. Or if I get another box that's better suited for what I'm using it for right now. Keeping this a very upcycle type of video, um, I want to put in some fabric in the bottom of these boxes. And instead of going out and buying some black vinyl um, separators or just vi black vinyl fabric, I'm using this old shirt, this old black shirt I have. Uh, <laughs> This was my some shirt from my high school that I still have just because I don't think anyone would want it if I donated it and um, I'm definitely never going to wear this again. So I'm just going to cut this up and lay it on the bottom of these. So I'm just kind of going to go with a flow which I do with basically everything that I'm doing. So I'm just going to start cutting it up and just look at the size um, as I go. As you can see, I'm just very roughly cutting it. I don't really care um, exactly how this is looking right now. 
I'm just going to now cut this in half so that there's only one side of the fabric. So I'm just going to cut along the half just as I did with this side and then I'm going to cut off this um, collar. Now I have just like one side of the fabric cut out. Um, not completely, it's still attached to the rest of the shirt, but I'm just kind of eyeing how much fabric I would want. And since I kind of am weighing this, I'm just trying to decide whether I just want one layer of the fabric or if I want some more. And so I'm actually going to be turning this into a storage for fountain pens. So I want to see, like, do I want to somehow make, um something like that where it separates each fountain pen um i'm just going to cut it right here i think i'm just going to do one layer so i'm just going to cut it where the words end basically so i'm happy with how this one is all i did is just folded the shirt in or the piece of the shirt in here and I'm okay with how that looks. I decided that I'm not going to um, make any dividers or anything like that. Um, just because I'm not going to be really moving this around. It's just going to be sitting on my desk. So I think that this would be perfectly suited for my needs. And this is a very quick kind of upcycle thing. Um, I'm not completely transforming these by any means. It's just something's supposed to be very quick and easy that anybody could do in their spare time so i'll show you how i got there with this one so i have this piece of shirt cut out and obviously it's a very oddly shaped piece so honestly all i'm gonna do is just fold it in um make sure all of the edges get folded in the scraggly bits Basically, I'm just going to work it until it fits how I want it to and um, how it, it looks good to me. I think that honestly looks about good to me. I kind of folded up the edges a little bit just so that the there's some protection between the wood on the sides as well. Um... I think it looks a little bit messier because of that and because I didn't really work very hard to make this look um, perfect by any means, just enough to be functional as well as decently presentable. So there it is. That is about it. Um, very easily you could use some glue just on the edges just to make sure that they stick just fine i think i'm just gonna leave it like this because as i said i might want to use it for um other reasons so that's it for this video i hope this video could help a little bit um and i just wanted to share my experience Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye.